Right, everybody. So we've uh, pulled up the beach once again. Um, yeah, she's been a while, isn't it? Been a while. But um, we'll get more into that later on. Uh, yeah, she's a bit, bit of a breezy morning. But um, yeah, we're quite sheltered in here around the hills. So not going to have too many issues launching out there. Uh, maybe a little bit of swell. But yeah, gah, get, get our shit sorted and um, get out there. We're bloody wasting fishing time, aren't we? <laughs> All right. Right, uh, quick setup, <clears throat> and yeah, thanks to just one little swell coming over the front of the kayak bow, we're in a wet bum kind of morning. <laughs> but yeah, no, she's not too bad. She's quite nice out here, actually. Beautiful, isn't it? Lovely scenes. Okay, so slightly from Kahawai, already caught one, but um, yeah, I didn't hit record. <laughs> I'll get you a little bit more. So, yeah, we've got one in there. Also, just whacked on the um, chesty. So, um, get some of that action going. Okay, so I'm a little bit too excited. Um, yeah. So just using a little um little soft bait rod. I actually use it for um catching live bait. Haven't really gotten into the, the old soft bait scene. But um yeah, look good. We got him. Oh, what the hell's that? What's up? What Massive kahawa trying to attack this one. Yeah, there we go. We actually got proof this time. <laughs> but yeah, there's so many in there. Some big bloody moles in there too. I don't want to poke. Give him a poke, give him a poke. stuff out so we can bleed them because one of them is going to be lunch 
but we'll keep going. Catch a few more. Let's see how we go. We can see a few snapper in here too, so. Hopefully we got some uh Hopefully we've got some brick sized snap a rick. There's a kingy. We don't actually have a kingy setup to be honest. Um yeah. What's going on here? It's looking ugly, that's why it's not nothing's taken it. Um so the one that one that I did see just a little rat but there could be bigger models out there That sound. These are bloody big car why. Oh, it broke. Damn. <sighs> what do we do now? I think we'll go. With a soft bait, I think. Bigger soft bait. Okay. Hey, she broke. Alright, so, um, yeah, <laughs> we broke off on that last one. I think it was more of a shit knot than anything. So, yeah, we've uh, put on a little, uh, what is it? What is it, Rick? Penny? New penny? New penny. New penny 5 inch. Spin ourselves a mischief. She'll be right. She'll be right. Yeah. New penny five inch on a three inch. Get after him. Still lots down there. Not sure if we can see them. So yeah, we've got going back to the new penny and yeah, nah, straight away. That other one was a darker like a dark bluish colour, I'm not too sure what it was, but yeah. Oh shit bag. That was my own dumb fault. But yeah. There we go. Three in the rock pool now. Awesome. Maybe one more. 
Don't you dare whack me in the clangers, mate. There we go. In the pool, in the pool. Maybe one or two more. Then we can put, close our bait bag up. We've got some pilchards. Oh, straight on. Nice. Don't you love it when they happen? Whee, jumper. that one <laughs> and he's a scrapper too so. Give me my lure back. All right, we're ready to get back in there. Um, yeah, lost interest a little bit. Maybe my lure is something wrong. Or, I don't know. But we, a couple more, a couple more goes. And if that's the case, we'll, oh, okay, we're on. Bloody awesome runs they do. Yep. Got him. He's up. All right. That's us for now with the kahawai, I think. Okay, what we've got here. It was a 12, 12 foot surf caster. Now I'm not sure of the brand or whatever, but um, it's one that I've been using for years. Excuse the blood on my hands, I've just caught some kahawai. Um, yeah, it's just a surf caster I've had for years and the other thing I like to use is to pair it up with is uh, the Akuma Revenger. Brilliant little little reel this one and um, the best thing about it it's bloody 45 bucks out of the Burnsco bargain bin so I mean cheap as chips and it is actually quite um, yeah a good reliable reel I mean I've had it for three years now and you know as long as you look after it, soak it after every use, or you know, things like that. Um, it should last for quite a while actually. Um, so the line I've got on it is a uh, 30 pound mono. I'm trying to limit, 
trying to limit my um, line weight. It just, I don't know, brings a new aspect to the to the fishing. I'm not, you know, I want to be, be out there bloody catch a fish and winch them in on 80 pound line or anything like that. And at the end of the day, it does, it, yeah, she's, she's well more exciting. Okay, so what are we going to put on this? My, oh my crap's all over the place. So what we're going to do is run a 8 barrow recurve with a 2 barrow little keeper hook because we've got, we've, yeah, damn it, we've got some, got some pilchards there but because we've caught kahawai we're not gonna not actually gonna need them so hopefully I can leave them in my bait bag over there and save them for another time so uh, what else have we got here we've got which is over here uh, 40 pound trace just the length of it I don't know wingspan but under a wingspan not too much over what we're gonna do go through the back now I know there are a lot of knots out there one knot you can't go past though is the uni knot. I mean, I'll tell you what, it is actually really one of the only knots you really need to do with just um, this sort of basic fishing to be honest. Don't need too, too much else flashy or uh, okay, where's our, our little keeper? That's stuck in the rocks there. So we'll just grab another one for now and pick that one up later. Sorry. I am a little wee bit excited. It's been a while since I... Well, it hasn't been a while since I've been fishing. It's just been a while since I've done any recording. And, you know, seem to have caught a good day and onto a swivel yes I use swivels I know I know a lot of people don't but you know we go with the uni knot again Tag end off. And guess what? You need not again. The, the thicker the line, the heavier the line, the less rats you have to do. I mean, down to about five, I think, with 80 pound, but I don't usually use that heavier line. Okay, we're good to go. Wind is getting up a little bit. So are the swells. So I'm not too sure about our diving expedition. Might have to hold on that one.
Oh, it's only a little fella. Gee, I thought he was a lot bigger than that. Not even keepable size. <laughs> okay. And that's on the little keeper hook too. Yeah. Okay. Get him back out there. Feels a bit better. Nice. It is better. Much better. At least we can keep this one. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Bloody beauty. There we go. Give him a icky. Oh shit! Don't go back in the water. Jeez. Dumb ass. Okay, there we go. Another bloody ah uh, yeah. Look at that. Two of them. Bloody nice fish. Heck. Oh, we'll get this little bugger off first. And the bigger one. <sighs> Bloody nice. Bloody nice. So that's, yeah, some good bloody fishing at the moment. Well, uh, yeah, I think they're actually both legal, but um, 
seeing the calibre of fish we're actually catching at the moment. They can both go back. Pop that pick out. So, one. Look out. Daisies. Dab. But yeah, good fish. Good fish. Really good fish. But we know if, you, if you've been watching long enough, we know these bigger ones out here, right? So
Out of boredom, just flicking around for a kahoi and a little bugger about the right size for a livey. So, we're gonna, yeah, set up a livey line, I suppose. We're good. Wondering if you can see that shark. It's pretty bloody cool. Straight down there. In amongst all those snapper. Pretty cool sight. Just um, yeah, won't be going diving down here. <laughs> How is he gone? There he is. See him? Cool, eh? <laughs> That's pretty awesome, actually. Not a trophy. We're keeping it. It's the last one we're keeping. We've got fifth, fifth fish, so yeah. Oh, bloody nice fish. We're keeping it, so yeah. That's the last one. We're going to um, yeah. Just a fish. For Fish for funsies, I think now. I think we got picked up again. Yeah.
another of the same size. Bloody good fishing. Bloody good fishing. Awesome. Like I said, we've got nothing. Yeah. It's bloody good when throwing those sides back, eh? Good size fish. What a day. Righto. Back at the truck. <laughs> uh, yeah, about to have a look at the catch, but before we do that, uh, it's just got a really, really big, immense thank you to everyone that's uh, kind of encouraged me to get back into it while I've had this bit of a break. I mean, no one knew I was having a break, but um, everyone, uh, all the bros down the road and, you know, at different parties and across the bar, all bloody, you know, hitting me up. When's your next video coming out? When's your next video coming out? Probably giving me shit, but you know, look at this. Uh, real, really, really helpful encouragement. So thanks all, thank you all. Um, but yeah, anyway, here's our catch. So we ended up uh, bringing home five snaps, three kahawai, and if you've watched the channel long enough, you know we love our kahawai. So uh, yeah, anywho, that's us for the day, barefoot fishing out.